Are you the kind of pilot that hates stalls and thinks more than 20 degrees of bank and 10 degrees of pitch is the danger zone? Do you fear that planes will suddenly start spinning when you least expect it? Becoming an aviator is really about learning to communicate with the plane so you are always in command and never just along for the ride. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and two-time Guinness World Record Breaker for most inverted flat spins. 98 turns from 24,000 feet. Sporties and I have teamed up to produce this video series on how to have more fun flying general aviation airplanes while improving your airmanship using the skills you already have and some novel techniques. Now let's go up and learn to appreciate not being straight and level all the time. Let's look at one of the scariest things for most pilots, which is stalls. Let's do a proper stall. And a proper stall is when this yoke is all the way back when the stall happens. Then you unload or release the back pressure on the yoke to make the wing fly again. Do not push the nose down into a dive. Just lower the nose enough below the horizon, below that sight picture of level flight to get the wing flying again. So first I'm gonna pull the nose up into a stall. And when I stall, notice I'm working the rudder pedals. Everyone's familiar with the infamous right wing drop. I don't see any right wing dropping much and I'm actually controlling it. Now notice I'm stalled. The yoke's all the way back. I'm actually controlling the airplane right now. Yoke is all the way back. I'm controlling it with rudder pedals. All right, recover. Just push the nose down below the horizon. Get it flying again. Gently bring in the power. And back to level flight. I want to say something about power. I have seen people just jam that throttle lever in. There is no need for that. Do you think this Cessna with its meager 180 horsepower has enough power and torque and thrust to pull this airplane back in the sky? No, of course it doesn't. All you're doing is putting a lot of stress on the engine and panicking yourself. The throttle comes in last. Be gentle with it. So let's look at that uh, rudder play again. It's actually called a falling leaf stall. And in a falling leaf stall, you hold the airplane in a stall and you work the rudder pedals. And notice as I bring the nose up and I get into the stall, I'm already starting to work my feet. I am getting ready. Got to keep the feet active. And as I get into the stall, notice how much my feet are working. Notice no right wing drop. And I'm just holding the yoke back. I'm in the stall, not using aileron, just using the rudder to control the airplane. This is a fall leaf. Now recovery, lower the nose below the horizon, get the wing flying, add the power gently, and just bring the nose right back up to the horizon and get flying again. Stalls don't have to be scary. They should be fun and enjoy them. The more you learn to use the rudder in the stall to control the direction, the less you'll have to worry about that infamous right wing drop. Why does that right wing drop? There's a lot of reasons it can drop. Well, there's all the left turning tendencies we know about in the airplane, including gyroscopic precession, P factor, spiraling slipstream, which by the way, in my opinion, is the leading cause of the wing dropping is the way the air goes around the airplane. It's, it's the it's the top of the left wing causing more lift, causing it to drop. But if you're getting a right wing drop, and let's look at that stall again. If you're getting a right wing drop, it's because you as the pilot most likely are doing something to make that happen. You're either playing with the ailerons too much, you've got some right rudder in. We all know when we're in the climb attitude, our right foot is spring-loaded to be on that rudder pedal. And that's what makes the wing drop. So be ready on the rudder pedals and control the airplane with the rudder. Look at that. There's no right wing drop. And notice how much I'm working to keep the nose straight. Again, in the falling leaf. All right, I'm going to recover, lower the nose, get the wing flying, add the power, and come back up to altitude. Stall should be fun, nothing to panic about. And if you're getting a right wing drop, it's because you as the pilot are becoming a passenger. You're letting the airplane be in charge of you. You need to be the boss of the airplane and control it. The airplane, I promise you, none of these airplanes have a mind of their own. They only do what the pilot tells them. So learn how to communicate with your airplane. Speak the language of aviation to your airplane. And it'll do whatever you want. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which includes everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.